we are. Lynn, mm -hmm. are you a waffle fan? <laughs> Strawberries, waffles. Yes, dear. Oh, Suffering through another camping breakfast. Barbara's waffles. And guess what? The sun just came through out from behind the cloud. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. So there's something curious going on out here. These guys are driving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then they stop and they have a conflab. I think this is a prototype vehicle they're testing. We may have See, that's covered up. Maybe it's an electric vehicle. Hmm. It's covered up, though, so you can't see it. There's something secret going on. It's all covered up so you can't see it. They're doing this over and over and over again, and of course, we're eating the dust. And this is the one that's covered up. Here they are again for about the seventh or eighth time back here talking about it. That's got to be an electric prototype pickup, and we're not supposed to see it. You couldn't cover up the radiator on a regular motor. It would overheat. Got to be an electric prototype. So, what are you today? Are you a blacksmith or a hard rock miner? <laughs> huh? Uh, I guess I'm a hard rock miner because that rock is really hard. Okay. <laughs> Smack, that's, smack it. Use the, use the, use the. the, one the that I think it's part of a meteor. Yeah, a meteorite. Yeah. That's not gonna break. Oh, did it break? If it broke. It, what, what happened to that other in front of you? The big hammer. There oh. you go. <laughs> if it was a snake, uh, I don't know about this. Come on, film. smack it hard. Oh, did it break? No. no. I don't know. I'll try a different one. Uh, okay. Well, the desert is coming alive. Oh, it's the first one we've seen in bloom. Oko Tio. They're pretty. The double. I probably should stand in the trail. Yeah, don't stand in the ant pile. Oh, never mind that. Just we don't. We're not crazy about ants. We don't have a high regard for ants. 
Where is that trail? I'll mess. Oh my gosh, looky here. It is a trail of ants. Where are they going and what are they doing? Well, they're. They kind of stopped right there, like they, There's a whole. This is a whole colony. Uh, where are they going? Yeah, uh, well. We don't. That's it. They stopped right here. We don't understand ant business. Whatever they're doing, it's right there. They're on that. Huh. Why would they be on that bush? Good question. Should we ask them? We're getting something off of that bush. Yeah, they're just, they think that... They all be... came over here to that bush. You know, I think the way ants work is that one goes over there and then everybody else just follows the trail. But is there like like a seed or... I don't know. Sweetness or... It's weird. In that, con that bush, that's just... All those ants are going over to this bush. And here's you know, another question for you. How come they didn't stop at that bush, which is the same kind of bush? Well, wait a minute. Looky, looky, looky. Oh, there are ants there in are that bush. There are some ants on that bush, and there's some on that one, and on that one. Ah. We have found something. Now, that is a question for your son. Really? He might know the answer. Uh, hmm. My son would know the answer to kill him, but... Yeah, it's funny. Why, why is there... Both our sons are in the insect business. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call them? Diametrically well, opposed? <laughs> well, if that's the right word. Yeah, it's good enough. One's an exterminator and one sells bugs for a living. This stuff here, that's off of that plant. Why do they pile it all the way around like that? And they only do it on the one side, on, you know, three quarters mm. of the way around. It's like it's a perimeter wall or something. I don't know. And it's not just that one. Here's another one. It's got all that stuff they're collecting off of those plants all the way around. Except for they leave one area open. Things that make you go, hmm. Yeah, things that make you go. Here's another one. Look at here. All the way around there. Yeah. That is... Hmm. Here's one. Yep, same thing. Just that one side. You know, it might have blown away. We had a really strong wind oh, here. It might have blown away on that side. That is true. So we can detect the wind direction. I don't know. This is an interesting looking place, though. I don't know if we ought to even get close. Like he was out there in the middle of nowhere on purpose. Uh oh. <clears throat> now I'm going to get into the sticker bushes. Ouch. Oh, crap. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah, ah, made it. Well, I don't know about this place over here. Let's see. We better turn around before we run into the The bad dog, yeah, that. Well, that's a possibility. I was going to make a joke about a electric fence or a perimeter or oh, well, I'm whatever the graveyard, the boneyard. Yeah, but the uh, yeah, the big mad dog. That's a good. <laughs> <laughs> We're turning around. That's not dog content we want. Hey, the wind stopped blowing. It's very nice now. You're right. What the heck? About to take off my coat. Oh, wait a minute. We turned around. It's it's blowing a little, <laughs> but walking with the wind is very pleasant. Did you ever get a shot of the sailboat in the desert? I didn't.
you suppose we want to walk that far? I don't think so. I think a uh, ride back there with a the tricycle. Today we're taking a jeep ride out into the desert to see something called Little Luke's Volcano, which you can see the cinder cone there uh, straight ahead and a tiny bit to the right. This is an 18 mile jeep ride off into the Arizona desert north of where we're camped. Lois and Cheryl and Dee and Mike are with me. 18 miles, and we're going to Valley of the Names. What are we coming to? We were testing. Oh my gosh, are we coming to a big dip? The Grand, oh step. The Grand Canyon. Oh my gosh, is it going to come around? Oh the Grand my God. Canyon of the me? Colorado. It's like a oh, it's not as bad as a oh, it's no, you can't. <laughs> Ah, don't go, Jude, don't go. <laughs> I can't walk all the way back. Oh my God. I can't okay, get no, it. looks good so yeah, far. Yeah, you're supposed to, you know, it says you're going down here. I'm finding it quite humorous that I have two women in the back seat and one guy in the front seat, none of whom have very much experience with roads like this, trying to hand me their phones to show me that they've got to turn this way and then you got to turn that way and then we're going to go down in the wash. And I'm thinking, I don't need to look at your phone. I'm going to follow the road. There's no other choice. <laughs> yeah, you got to go. <laughs> You gotta go down this way and then up the other side. Yeah, it just goes down into the wash along it and then back up. You go out. a long ways and then you'll take a right. I'm never taking those women again. <laughs> well, this is seat drivers. Well, this is what's fun about these back roads in Arizona. This is oh, this what is Lynn California. doesn't like, right? <laughs> but at least we know now. I can... Oh, look at this. Can... Hockey crow-y thingy. The what? The big bird up there flying. Oh, he just dived down. Shola. Yeah, that's a hawk or a eagle. There's not a lot of vegetation. Are there eagles down here? I don't know. I have seen an eagle. Of course, I didn't expect to see an owl. When I got to see. I saw an eagle. Uh, I saw an eagle on that drive that I was talking about from Ajo to. Oh yeah. Tucson. Yeah. A uh, bald so, eagle or American, American eagle? I believe an American eagle. Uh, mm -hmm. It didn't have a white head like that. Um, a I saw a mountain lion tracks too. Ooh. So who knows what that stuff in the tree is? Uh, Some, somebody told me it's mistletoe. <laughs> no. <laughs> yep. I had a hard time believing it. It's just, it's odd looking. It's, it's kind of a family What is it? It's in the same family as mistletoe. Oh, is it? It's a parasite. Yeah, it definitely looks like How many good. miles of this do we have to go? 4.5. What the hell? What, what's there when we get there? I forgot I to don't ask. Know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like valley yeah, of Names. Valley of Names. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Yeah, there's the volcano. Oh, that is cool. Cinder cone. Which way? That Keep way. Keep going. Oh, well, get going. We'll run. Gotta go back. <laughs> there you go. Two roads there. Oh, now, you're, that one too. now you're good. Oh, there's two more of them. Look at them. They're following us for some reason. Valley of Names. What name is this? Uh, M Y A L. Oh, my C Y N O. Live 
and I don't get it. Pat C H E R Y L Pat Cheryl. That one I got. Twenty twelve Morin Washington S E T N hmm. yeah, I think some of these are people. They just keep going. They're like they go on and on and on and on. I wanna see if I can get some more pictures of the ones across those. So, Oh, from yeah, farther yeah. away they look oh yeah more readable oh my god look at how far they go i know they just keep going jeez they're going, they're going. same way in this road they keep going out this road mm. on both sides oh my gosh look at that and they're on the hill every hill has some how many years has this been going on a lot mom dad wow You gotta just zoom in on some of that. And it just goes forever. Yeah. I think it goes out as far as you want to go. Well, I think that's why it shows you. you walk out here. You Valley of the Names. There's no way to show this from the ground, so I grabbed you some Google Earth pictures. I think there's a probably three square miles of this. It just goes on and on and on and on. You'd have to bring your own rocks to make more of them because people have picked up all the rocks to make their own. Valley of the Names. Um, I had no idea what I was driving to, but got to say it was worth the drive. 18 miles of that four-wheeling. And now we have figured out that it's only about three miles of this pretty good gravel road before we get to asphalt and go into Yuma and take the freeway home to our camp spot uh, west of Yuma about six miles into California. Well, it was an adjustment, it was dust. <laughs> And after the dust of the desert, it's always so pleasant to get into the green fields of the Yuma Valley. 80% of the leafy greens eaten in the United States are grown here from the water of the Colorado River. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.